Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the, by, uh, the weekly contest 285, maximum points in archery competition. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord so you can talk about other competitions or something. I don't know, I got nothing. But, uh, but this one is actually not that bad. It's basically brute force in a way. Uh, the key thing to note is that there's only uh, 12 sections. So then you can brute force... Uh, for every section, you could brute force either you want to beat Alice or not. And if you do want to beat Alice, you do a greedy way of of choosing Alice's arrows plus one, right? Then you beat him or beat her, uh, and get the point for that section. Uh, and in the end, just try to calculate if if you have enough arrows to beat her in those sections, and that's pretty much it. So that uh, I actually solved this. I thought relatively quickly, six minutes ish. Um, but yeah. Oh, and the tricky part is that it's not just a score. You have to do the output itself. So I think so. I lost a couple of minutes that part because I uh, was fudging a little bit, fudging a, a little bit on that. But basically, yeah. So given a bit mask, I'm not going to go over bit mask in this video. But just think of it as um, you know brute forcing on each item, where each item can be on and off, right? Binary on and off, uh, and. For example, if that one item is on, then we go, okay, the the number of hours we need is the number of Alice hours plus one. And then we add the score for I. Um, if if we have enough hours to, to use this uh, set of solutions, we return the score. Otherwise, we return zero because it's not possible. So then after that, we just keep track of the best one and then get the mask. At the very end, we... We reconstruct it, and again, we're going to do it the greedy way. Um, for every section that we want to beat Alice, we just use Alice hours plus one. We subtract the hours, and of course, we are going to have hours left, or it's zero, but either way. Um, we just we can put it anywhere, to be honest, and we just put it on zero in this case, because, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, because you're not going to beat her in any other way, otherwise you would get another mask, right? So yeah, uh, the complexity of this is going to be 2 to the m t uh, times m, um, and that's pretty much it. And the space is pretty much O of uh, O of one or O of twelve, depending on O of M, depending on how you want to say it. But M is always going to be twelve every single time. So, yeah. And the number of hours almost doesn't matter. Uh, even though it does, they do say ten to the fifth to maybe trick you into something. But, um, but yeah. Um, cool. Uh, let me know what you think about this one. Uh. But yeah, it's just brute force. You could also write this brute force recursively, and maybe that, uh, I think that maybe is a cleaner solution if you did it recursively. But during the contest, I didn't do it recursively, so this is the solution that I have. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think about this poem. Let me know if you beat Alice, uh, and you could watch me solve a live during the contest now. Yeah, YOLO. Okay. I wasn't sure about that one, to be honest. What is going on here? Okay. Okay. Okay.
This is the hook point section. It's actually a little bit weird, but okay. annoying actually I thought you would just return the score uh, 47 is the right answer though so that's good um, okay Let's print the score as well. At least I have some idea. 47, 27, that looks good. Oh, come on. Play to win? It's causing me 10 seconds at least. But okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think. Uh, we'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, take a mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.